Good day, I am again with you. Let's begin our next lecture. Today, we are going to talk about Commonwealth of Independent States. Look at the emblem. This uh, just Commonwealth sometimes is called CIC. In Russia, it is SNG. Let's begin. On the screen, you see the symbol of this organization and there are several flags that are members of this commonwealth as we know after ussr commonwealth was organized we are going to talk about it further uh, in our lectures you see uh, several emblems of the countries that are members of this union of this organization and among them we can see Uzbekistan as well. Uzbekistan is a member of CIC, uh, just the organization. And uh, you can see the emblem of Russia as well. And here below we are going to talk about them. When we speak about active members, they can be Republic of Belarus, Republic of Moldova, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and the Russian Federation. They are considered to be the active members. Each year, they take part in different meetings just organized by this organization. In 1991, Mikhail Gorbachev, the President of Soviet Union, proposed a federation by holding a referendum to preserve the Union as the Union of Soaring States and the CIC was founded in 1991 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Meetings are held periodically on a rotating system. So leaders of 11 countries had met in Kazakhstan to accept the original CIC agreement of 8 December 1991. In 2006, Turkmenistan left the permanent membership and as well as Georgia left CIC membership. In 2009, Ukraine and Turkmenistan, just uh, not being formal members of CIC, were allowed to participate in its meetings. Commonwealth of Independent States Free Trade Area, which were, however, formulated mostly as independent multilateral uh, agreements, not as inter internal CIC agreement. Official language of this union is Russian language, as all members of these countries can speak fluently Russian language, and official language is considered to be Russian. Membership. There are nine member states of the Commonwealth of Independent States. These are the following. Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Observer states are Afghanistan, and Mongolia, they observe different activities, meetings of CIC, and take part as an uh, informal member of this union. CIC has its headquarters at Minsk, Belarus. That uh, organizes that controls that rules CAC activities. The flag of CIC you see on the screen that uh, means uniting, uniting the whole countries in one union. That means a friendship, emblem of friendship, 
Kent. The emblem of it, of this CIC, you see, is less like a symbol of flag. That means union. That means friendship. That means collaborating. Charter bodies of CIC are Council of Heads of States, Council of Heads of Governments, Council of Foreign Ministers, Council of Defense Ministers, Council, uh, Council of Commanders in Chief of Foreign Trade Troops, Parliamentary Assembly, Economy Court, and so on. Commonwealth does not have supranational power. Countries Interaction within CIC is accomplished through its coordinating institutions. Council of Heads of State, Council of Heads of Government, Council of Councils of Foreign Ministers, Defense Ministers, Border Troops, Commanders, and so on. CIC functions are to coordinate its members' policies regarding their economies, foreign relations, defense, immigration policies, environmental protection, and law enforcement. Its top governmental body is council composed of the members' republic's heads of state. Total area and population. Let's speak about the area of CAC and the population of this union. It covers an area of 20 million kilometers and has estimated population of 239 million. CIS encourages cooperation in economic, political and military affairs and has certain powers relating to the coordination of trade, finance, lawmaking and security. Now let's talk about interparliamentary assembly of this union. When we speak about interparliamentary assembly, it is actively involved in development of integration process of the CIC and also sends observers to the national elections. And it was uh, established in 27th of March in 1992 in Kazakhstan. When we speak about military forces of CIC countries, we can say much about. The main task of the Military Council of CIC is uh, to give opinions on draft treaties and agreements related to the questions of defense and military development, issues related to suggestions and proposals to the attention of CIC Council of Heads of States. Of course, especially it thinks about defense of this union. Economy Economical Issues Economical issues of CIC Union. Of course, each member yearly denotes or just uh, finance some amount of uh, just uh, money that especially is sent to the activity of this union. A proposed free trade agreement we have covered all 12 
than CIC members and treaty parties except Turkmenistan. In, in 2009, the new agreement was begun to create FCA, the CIC Free Trade Agreement. Free Trade Agreement eliminates export and import duties on a number of goods but also contains a number of exemptions that will uh, ultimately be uh, phased out. The agreement was also signed on the basis of principles of currency regulations and currency control in CIC in October 2011. When we speak about top import partners of CIC countries, China is the largest import partner of CIC region. The top import partner of CIC countries with their trade values recorded during 2019 you see on the screen. They are China, Russia, Germany, USA, Belarus, Italy, and others. Iller diagram. Have you ever heard about this diagram? Some people say yes, I say no. Further, we are going to talk about Iller diagram of CIC. It is a diagram showing the relationship among the various supranational organizations in the territory of the former Soviet Union. You can see little unions within Commonwealth countries. Baltic Assembly, Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations, and so on. When we speak about sports events, we can say a lot. Within the CIC countries, a lot of events, sport events are held yearly and uh, uh, this will lead to the friendship, to the uh, just uh, collaboration that will uh, be strengths in the, in the means of sport. Yearly, a lot of uh, just uh, tournaments are held. For example, uh, sport teams had been invited to the and qualified for various sports events. Winter Olympics were held as well as Russian Government Cup was just organized and Soviet Union Bandy Championship was also uh, rebranded as a CIC Championship in 91-92. CIC members have each competed separately in international sports as well. And the Festival for National Sports and Games, known as the Festival of National Sports and Games of the Commonwealth of Independent States, was held in Ulyanovsk in 2017. The sports were sambo, just the wrestling, belt wrestling, and others. That was all for today about CIC countries. Junior. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. We do hope you got some useful information about today, about today's CIC Union. Thank you very much.